Hey there, it's Sarah from the Camera Exchange, and today I'm sitting down with Fuji Films' Michael Bulbenko, who's going to tell us all about their new XS20 mirrorless camera. All right, Michael Bulbenko, thanks for taking the time to sit down to talk with me about Fuji Films' new XS20. What would you like to tell me about it? Who is this camera made for? Hi, Sarah. Thanks very much. Um, well, you know, there's been a lot of talk about the camera being made for vloggers, and that's really not really to say that's accurate. They because they've enabled this nice little vlogging menu on here, which gives you some on-screen touch controls when the screen is facing you, right? So when you're doing selfie reporting, you can control certain things right on that. Um, but that is just a, you know sort of one segment that the company is addressing right now. Really, I would say this is for uh, people on the go and anybody that's traveling. Like, you know, it's summer right now. And if you're off on a European vacation, honestly, this is like a phenomenal thing to take because it's small, right? I mean, I could put it right here in my hand. Yeah. Uh, it's got a great form factor, this grip. I have had other photographers hold this that are using other brands of cameras and they have all told me, wow, that feels awesome. So um, I, I'd say it's a it's it's an a, for for people on the move. That's who this camera is for. Traveling, you're moving around a lot. Um, if somebody wants to have cinematic footage of their journey, um, I hear the IBIS is really good on this camera. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Now, for those of you who don't know, IBIS stands for In Body Image Stabilization, uh, which means the sensor is stabilized. So. Um, even if you had a non-stabilized lens like this XF 27 millimeter on there, the camera will provide up to seven stops of stabilization built in. And that means seven shutter speeds equivalent. So yes, uh, it's not as good as if you had a full-blown cinema gimbal on it, but it absolutely gives you smooth shots when you're hand-holding. Another thing that might be important when you're on the go, um, autofocus, you don't really want to take the time to think about um, whether your images are going to be as sharp as you'd like them to be. Can you tell me what this camera has to offer? So this is the same sensor as in our X-T4 camera, so 26 megapixel. It's not a stacked sensor, but what it did get is the new processor that comes in X-T5 and X-H2 and X-H2S. And that processor makes it focus very, very quickly. So it has superior tracking capabilities, analytical capabilities for the way motion happens across the sensor. And it also get, gets the uh, AI uh, detection modes for things like birds and planes and uh, vehicles and stuff like that. The video features, uh, 4K, 6K. Well, yes, you said the magic number, 6K. So uh, with that new processor, even though it's that other older sensor, this camera will actually do 6.2K video resolution in open gate. And what open gate means, it's the entire sensor. It's not cropped. No mm -hmm. uh, crop 16 by 9 or 17 by 9. So open gate 6.2K, that's phenomenal in a camera that's only $1299. Uh, it will also do 4K and HD as well, and some very high bitrate codecs. So one thing that I've read about this camera is the built-in looks, the cinematic looks that you can get. Maybe for somebody who's not um, well-versed in post-production, doesn't want to do a lot of work uh, on the back end, uh, tell me about some of those presets that are built in. So uh, these looks, that is what other companies call them. Mm -hmm. We call them film simulations. Okay. And the reason for that is, right, the last four letters of our name is F-I-L-M. We are a film manufacturer. We still make film. We have the know-how and the color science on how to translate those film recipes into an electronic digital file. So our film simulations are something that people absolutely rave about in terms of Fujifilm straight out of camera, ready to go images. Uh, you don't need to shoot raw files and you know massage them and process them because if you play with the film simulations, everybody's gonna find like three that they absolutely love and they're great for different situations. One of my favorites, especially since you mentioned filmmaking, is a film simulation called Eterna. 
Eterno is the brand name for our motion picture negative film stock, okay, that was used on just hundreds and hundreds of TV shows and movies. That film stock is built into this camera and it's absolutely gorgeous for video without having to do color correction. So this camera has a very user-friendly layout from what I hear. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. So, um, you know, it's not quite like our XT cameras, which are shutter speed and ISO knobs on the top. Uh, it's a little different, but I actually find everything is laid out very handily. You know, there's the drive mode at the top, which gives you the different exposure modes and putting it into cinema mode and the vlogging mode. But what I like is there's a dedicated ISO and Q button right here on the top. The Q is my favorite of all the cameras because you can customize how many things show up in the queue, but it is the stuff that you basically access the most, like mm -hmm. white balance resolution um, and, and things like that. So um, there's a little quick shortcut red button here to go to video very quickly, but everything is right there, easy for you to get to with your thumb or, you know, with your index finger. So speaking of on the go, right, we're talking about how this camera is great on vacation, things like that. What's the battery life like? Ah, so it's way improved over XS10, which was the previous generation. It uses the uh, NPW235 battery, which is the same as XH2, XH2S, and T5. And with that new processor, with the economy mode, you can get up to 800 shots on that battery. Uh, typical battery life is somewhere around 600, and that is like double of what we used to get. All right, there you have it, Fujifilm's new XS20. Thank you, Michael Bulbenko, for sitting down to talk with me about it. If you would like to learn more, head to CameraX.com.